Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannett Reviews. Today we're checking out a 2022 Shearwater 25 LTD that was on display earlier this year at the Daytona Beach Boat Show. This one measures in at 24 feet 6 inches in length with a beam at 8 foot 3 and she has 80 gallon fuel capacity. I personally love that dark hull, it's got a great shine to it. As part of this package deal it's also a very substantial trailer that's included with it. And this one's rated for carrying five adults in perfect comfort, whether you're into cruising or fishing. And there's a lot of finishing touches on this one I like, including that chrome rub rail that's around the side. It just gives it that premium effect. And then to make our way around to the stern, you'll see this one's powered by a Mercury 350 horsepower XL Verado outboard. And this is mounted on a hydraulic jack plate, so that way you can raise and lower the outboard, and this one will float in a matter of inches. In the right conditions, you're going to get cruising speed somewhere in the mid 30 mile an hour mark, and you're going to get a top end speed of around 50 mile an hour. I like the telescopic boarding ladder you have here, not only if you're in the water, but also just getting on it from the trailer. And from a price point, this one was being offered for $114,997. And you'll notice the seating along the stern, these have got removable backrest, and that way you get in even more of a casting platform. But for a board of this size, she's got great access to the deck. I love that center console, the solid T-top, and a clever use of storage, including this 25 gallon rear bait well. And then underneath the main seat here, this is actually a 45 gallon release well. And then as we make our way over to the starboard quarter, you've got more dry storage in here as well. And behind the leaning post you'll see here we've got a live well. I like the fact it's got this big screen in it, that way you can easily see inside without having to open it. And this is a great bait station. On the left hand side you've got a sink, and on the right hand side you have got self-draining storage. You can easily fill that full of ice if you wanted to. And even between the transom seat and this live well, you see we've got more deck space storage too. I love the framework that's on this T-top, it gives you so many hand holds that it feels very safe and secure whenever you're walking around the boat. The helm seats are exceptionally comfortable and I like the fact that they've got independent bolster effect, that way you can sit down or stand up, whatever's easiest. You also have plenty of headroom underneath this T-top, I'm 6 foot 2 and I've got no issues at all. And this one did come fully equipped with the engine instrumentation, she's also got fusion stereo. But you see you've got that blank canvas so you can pick out all the fishing and navigation equipment that you want to install yourself. You've also got additional storage overhead. Personally, I think that's a great spot for handheld devices, maybe a handheld VHF, something like that. And we also have both lights and speakers built into the T-top. And everything's got a premium feel and touch to it. Everything feels like it's been well made and well installed. I like that screen that we've got in front of the helm. That will help keep some of that wind and spray off of you. Making your way to the bow, you see we've got plenty of space here for casting opportunities. So to both port and starboard, this is where you're going to find the rod lockers with a ro rod rack system. Try saying that three times fast. Now you can have an option where you can get bow cushions put out here if you want to turn it into a large sun pad. But with these cushions removed, you see that we've got plenty of storage spaces up here as well. And all these storage compartments, they're great not only for fishing equipment, but this would also be a great place if you want to put canopy covers, seat covers, things along those lines as well. And for a boat of this size and design, I was impressed to see that on the bow itself, we've got a deep anchor locker. And you'll see there's already wiring in here. This is one way you can add a trolling motor to the bow if you wanted to. And you'll see we've got a number of pop-up cleats. I'm always a fan of these on fishing boats, so that way you don't need to worry about your line getting caught and tangled in anything. And as I pan round, you'll just get that view of the boat looking back aft. And she's a very beamy boat for her size, with so much deck space and free room to manoeuvre. As always though, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really does make a difference. I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.